Hi guys and welcome to another uh, day's pod show. I am today joined by my psycho teammate, it's Pooj. Welcome to the show. How are you getting on today? I'm good. I'm really good. It's Sunday, you know, just getting... Sunday's like a day where like, I do all my adult stuff in the morning so that I don't have to do anything like at night. Nice. <laughs> so it's nice. time to like chill, you know? Nice. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's actually the first time we've probably we speak to, to, to each other like in a, the chat. But it's actually the first yeah. time we've actually spoke to each other in like real life properly. I know. <laughs> <do more. laughs> so this tell me about how this journey started for you as like on Twitch and as a content creator. So I kind of always it's always something I've wanted to do, but like I just never had found the time and then kind of probably same for a lot of people during lockdown. Like I think I kind of was like, right, I want to do this. I want to start. A lot of it for me was about like, obviously during lockdown feeling kind of lonely and like not really feeling like I had a lot of like pals to talk to. I've got friends like my age group, a lot of my friends are starting to have kids and stuff like that. And right now for me, it's not really like something I want to do. So it's, it's kind of, it wasn't like the right time for me and things that I, I kind of felt a bit like alone so I thought right do you know what I'm such an internet person I've always been a gamer like let's just go online see if I can make some friends and like take it from there kind of thing so and and seems to have worked out okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah I've just been enjoying it more and more and more so yeah that's that's how it started I guess okay. and where did your name come from uh, it's, it's a nickname. It's something that friends call me in real life. Uh, it's very very similar to my real name, so I just kind of uh, rolled with it. I, like, I wrote down a whole bunch of things on a bit of paper, and I was like, I don't want it to sound too like forced or too like made up or anything. So I, I wrote down a few of them. I got a friend of mine who's like a, a streamer to kind of look and, and kind of give me a bit of advice, and then I just just picked the best one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it just came to me. Yeah. Um. So. What sort of games do you play and what is your sort of interest at the minute? So I play a little bit of everything, to be honest. I'm one of those people that like, I don't really have like a particular genre that I like. Well, actually, I do have a couple of genres that I really like, but like, I don't really not like anything. The only thing I've never really been into is like sports games. So like, I've never really played okay. like FIFA or stuff like that. But I love like when I was younger, um, the very first console I had was a, a PS1. Nice. <laughs> uh, and I used to play Rayman and like Theme Hospital. I still love Theme Hospital. Uh, but I love things like uh, The Witcher. I love like RPG. I love Grand Theft Auto. I love shooters. Like I love League of Legends. I love Hearthstone. Like I just love so many different types of games. And like I think as as long as it's enjoyable, like I usually will give it like a good a good bash. I don't know. Like I, I don't really have like a genre. I really like strategy games, but I think. Like sometimes it lose so much you can play of the same kind of strategy game before you get really burned out. So I like to take breaks and play other things. Yeah, so. I agree with you. Like I play, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I play like so. I played Call of Duty too much over like the summer time and during lockdown. Mm-hmm. I literally played it every single day, nonstop. <laughs> yeah. I'm like sitting there going, "What am I doing to myself? I've got to stop playing all these, these, these Call of Duty games all the time. It's like it's too much." Yeah. <laughs> I, had like, I had like something like twenty days on it. Twenty days, like oh my god, what am I doing? So, mm-hmm. so now I can play different games now. I've got a nice PC, but I can play proper games as well. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I definitely get burnt out from playing the same games sometimes myself as well. It's nice to just yeah, for sure. chill. Like, I start playing Minecraft. I'm really bad at Minecraft and it, it takes a piss. Same. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> but it's nice to sit, you sit down and chill and do something a bit more simple to, and play do some building, yeah. you know, so. Relaxing. Yeah, yeah I'm for saying. sure. Um, so during the show, I like to sort of get to know the real person and not just the gamer and the creator. So, what do you like to get up to? Get to I can't speak today. What would you like to get up to in your spare time? Um, so I'm quite like I'm quite an active person. So like I'm quite into like the gym and stuff like that. Like I do like to I like to lift heavy things. Not I haven't been recently. I've been I'm really out of shape just now. <laughs> but like I, I like to go to the gym. I, I have like a, an office job Monday to Friday. Uh, so I, uh, it's quite stressful. So I like to kind of go to the gym because after work, it's like a nice way to kind of wind down. Um, I am a big animal person. I have a dog. He's the best dog ever. I like to spend a lot of time with him. Uh, I like to try to cook, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> uh, and I, yeah, I, I, I like, I don't know. I'm just quite like, a, I'm quite a home buddy. Like I like to go places, but I also love like a good night just to kind of chill in with my pajamas and watch some Netflix. Like, not really like a big 
adventurer yeah. a lot of the time. <laughs> Although I do like to go to new places and stuff. So yeah, I, I mean, I, I'd say mostly just right now for me, work, games and gym is like what my life revolves around uh, for the most part. And my little dog. A, a gym? What's the gym is at home? <laughs> I'm not a gym person. Um, I, I walk to the shops and that's enough for me. It's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind of sucks just now because they're closed. But uh, the the gym that I go to is like um is really good. It's like a private gym. Nice. It's like a lo- little local business. Um, okay. It's owned by a guy that I know, and uh, they've been doing loads of stuff like over Facebook and Facebook Live workouts. And nice. Uh, they've, they've drafted someone in to do like the like psychological stuff, and it's it's really really interesting actually. Like I, it's, it's something that I really. Like I'm, I'm not very good at it right now. Like I kind of go into like winter hibernation mode at this time of year. But we all do. Uh, we all do. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, like during like initial lockdown, I was like working out at home every day. Like I felt really healthy. So I need to probably need to give myself a little right. boot up the butt. But we'll get there. What was, <laughs> what was lockdown lockdown for you like first time round? What was it like for yourself? <sighs> it was it was tough. Um, I was furloughed. Uh, and yeah. I live I live with my other half um, and he was working from home the whole time. So he never really got like any time off, I feel like. Yeah. Um, and we, we just got our puppy. So my dog's only 10 months old and we got him uh, the week before lockdown. We actually got him a week early because we knew we were going to be able to travel. Like, we we kind of had a feeling that it was coming. So yeah. we got him a week earlier than we were meant to. It was like a three hour drive uh, up and back. And so I was at home all day uh, with my dog who like it was it was kind of on me to like really kind of teach him at first and things like that it's kind of almost like having a newborn baby like I know it's not the same it's nowhere near as difficult but initially it's like you don't get any sleep you don't get any time to yourself like you got to be on this little creature like constantly so it was kind of all my responsibility and because um because the other half was working Ben he was working so much um so I was like all cooking all the cleaning like all the things that we would usually kind of split was all kind of my responsibility and eventually I just got so like burned out on it and that's mainly why I started all of this because I just I needed something else to do that wasn't just walking about my house all day and kind of doing things that yeah. you know I would normally do and again yeah. I needed something more so yeah yeah it was it was tough like there was a lot of highs and a lot of lows but um i'd say for me mostly it was it was really quite challenging yeah it's tough quite yeah. So, yeah. yeah it's tough like i i was fed like myself uh for like three months i think it was yeah three months and i lived by myself so for like <sighs> for like 12 weeks i saw nobody apart from like a tesco man or it's so hard, it's yeah. tough it's tough you know it's affecting you but i think I, I stream quite a lot anyway so i'm lucky where i have that sort of chat with people anyway so <laughs> you know that helps you get, get through the bad times and yeah. you know I looked at it as a, as a sort of a bad thing, a good thing, because it helped me sort of become a better uh, creator as well. So, yeah, you know, I spent more time thinking about what I could actually put out in front of the audience as well. So mm-hmm. that really helped. I had some success over that period of time as well. So that was good. But it's good to say about normal now, but we're still sort of really in this weird sort of situation, aren't we? So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I mean, I'm back at work now. We never got um, shut down this time around. It's kind of, it's weird that, like, up here just now, it's kind of like, they're saying it's another, like, little lockdown, but a lot of stuff that wasn't open last time is open yeah. this time, including my work. So uh, I work in an office, and it's, like, there's a lot of a lot of customers that come in. Right now we have to, like, lock our door. Nobody can come in. Like, it's so different, even though it's still, you're still doing the same job, but it feels really different. Like, it's, yeah. it's weird just now. It's a weird, uh, weird feeling. Yeah, we're in lockdown until Tuesday. I work in a nursery, so a children's nursery. So we were, we actually we locked down for the first lockdown, but this time we stayed open. Um, and it's it's really it's really difficult because, like, let, seeing kids go in and parents can't come to the, into the nursery and everything like that. It's you know it's tough for everybody really. We've got to do you know, extra extra clean. We clean nonstop. We clean nonstop. So mm-hmm. it's tough. Sure. It's, it's really weird. It's really weird. Like. For me, I feel like I'm in lockdown, but then walk into town, it's like, oh, everything's shut. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It's, it's so strange. Like it really is. It's kind of like right now. It's like go to work, go home. Don't see your friends. Don't see your family. Like it, it's it's really hard. Like I get it. Like the, the world needs to keep turning, but it's, yeah. it's difficult when you think. Like I've, I have a really big family, so for me, it's it's hard to to not see. I've got three sisters and a brother. Blimey. <laughs> uh, so to like not see them as often as I usually do and, and things like I'm really close with my dad as well and my mum. Uh, so it's just really hard to kind of not be around them. Okay. Uh, and my, my next door neighbour, everyone thinks I'm mad about this by the way, but 
I bought a house next door to my best friend. <laughs> right. So she, she lives like right through that wall. <laughs> um, and her and her husband, they just had a baby. So they had a baby in April. Yeah. Um, and to not like be able to go in and like help her or like do things for her or just like spend time with the baby, like is that's been probably the hardest thing to be honest. Yeah, it's, I agree. Like, with this that. little girl is is grown up next door to me that like I'm gonna be around for the rest of my life and like I, I'd say that's probably been the hardest part is just not being able to be more involved with that like than I than I kind of wanted to be. So yeah, I agree. Yeah. With my sister had a baby back in May, and oh. I still haven't cuddled the baby. You know. And she lives, she lives down the road, down the road, down the road, right down there. So, so yeah, it's, it's, hard. it's tough, you know. It's tough, like when you see your friends going through that sort of thing. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be there all the time, and like you make sure they're okay. Like, yeah. and this year, Christmas as well. This year, like I work in childcare, so I'm around germs. You know, eight hours, ten hours a day. I'm like, yeah. I can't see family. I can't risk it for three days. You know, so this, yeah, this year no I'm gonna be, be by myself for the first time ever. Like, mm. but it's okay because I rather keep everyone safe, you know, and sound. Um, yeah. But it'd be weird going through like this first Christmas with little Arthur, who I can't see on Christmas Day. It'd be weird, mm-hmm. you know. It'd be really weird not to see him. So, yeah. And it's first Christmas without Granddad as well. He passed away back in June, so it'd be really weird as well not to see Granddad on, on Christmas Day. So, mm-hmm. it's it's, weird, it's, oh, it's a weird, weird. It's been a weird year, a tough year for everybody, yeah. you know. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully next year we'll start to touch go wood, upwards. touch yeah. touch wood, touch all the wood, <laughs> so much wood. <laughs> It's, uh, it's it's been it's been tough. I think if we I think what you need to remember is I think something that helps me a lot is like just remembering that there's it, obviously people who are not following the rules out there, but uh, for the majority of people, like it is the same for everyone. You yeah. need to remember like it's a collective effort to try and keep people safe. Like uh, my gran is like eighty four, um, and she's she's an angel. She's a saint. I love her with all my heart, and like to just give her a little hug just now would would mean everything. But like I, I won't do it. Like I, I can't. Yeah. Like I wouldn't put her in that position. I wouldn't risk it. You know. So. Yeah. Um. It's uh. Yeah. It's, it's, you, you kind of think it almost feels as though like you're the one that's being selfish by not seeing other people. Yeah. But like, you have to remember that by doing it, it's it's a selfish thing is to go and see them. I yeah. Like, Hundred percent. Like, yeah. Tough. Yeah. But yeah. It's tough. Hopefully, in a few weeks' time, a few months' time, everything goes back back to, back to normal. Whatever, <laughs> whatever normal is these days. <laughs> whatever is normal is these days. But I'm hoping like. Exactly. Football's starting again soon. Football's starting to go. And I haven't been to football properly since March. And we're having our first game on the 12th December. Like, we're going to see the, see the lads, have a chat with the lads for the first time in March. <laughs> It'd be nice to see the lads, you know, just have a, a chat about football. For sure. For, it's, for in sure. real life. But yeah. Getting back on topic. Um, <laughs> you said about food. What sort of food do you like to eat? Uh, I am a gannet, to be honest. Like, I, I find it really hard because I, I really like to be fit and healthy, but I also really, really like like cheese and bread and I'm not I've never been like a chocolate person like I'm not like a like I love crisps I love cheese like savory food and I love spicy food yeah um, all-time favorite food has to be like Japanese food I love like okay. sushi and like katsu curry and uh-huh, all that kind of stuff um but I have to pick probably can never go wrong with pizza right so <laughs> um nice. but yeah I, I need to be careful like I'm a really short individual so okay I love to eat but like there's a balance of like how short are you <laughs> as much as I do sometimes but it's uh yeah I just uh, the only thing that in the world that I can't stand is mushy peas yeah and okay. um yeah. and gherkins gherkins are the devil <laughs> you, can't, yeah. you can't tell me I'd only eat in a like, Macadies burger if I had to you know I wouldn't go all oh, I've fancy gherkin today I can't I can't do it at all even, like if, if, if Ben ever gets a Big Mac and we're in the car like I have to roll the windows down because just the smell of it just like oh I hate it I don't know it's been ever since I was really young like I just I hate them and I've, there's so many foods that I've grown up and I've been like actually that's nice actually that's nice but gherkins is just like the one thing that I can't eat <laughs> So you said earlier you're you like to cook, but you're not a good cook. What would your go, what's your go to go to meal you like to cook? Uh, so my best friend is my slow cooker. I, I I honestly can't recommend if you're not very good at cooking and you want to learn, get a slow cooker because it's just a case of chopping up all the stuff and filling it in. You don't need to worry about timing or anything. So I think for me right now, I've been making a red Thai curry a lot. Okay. Um, so it's really easy you just get like the chicken and the, the coconut milk and like the Thai curry paste and stuff and then whatever veggies you want in it chuck it all in go to your bed wake up in the morning and hey curry <laughs> so yeah I like to make uh, like chilli I'm quite good at making soups basically if you can fling it all in a pot and like leave it nice I'm quite good at that but anything else is like just a bit too complex 
<laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm, I do. I can cook, but being a single guy, you know, just it's easy not to cook these days. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, for sure. He's in the oven. There we go. I'll do for dinner today. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, so, what do you think the future holds for you? Honestly, I kind of. So, right now, I only get to sort of stream two days a week because I work full time. Uh, I share a PC with, with Ben right now. So, like, I don't have my own setup, which at the moment I'm trying to build, but I'm waiting on a graphics card, as I think a lot of people yeah. are just now. Um, so hopefully we also kind of expand that, do a bit more streaming. I really want to kind of get into YouTube. I need to uh, brush up on my editing skills. I used to be quite good. I did a bit of it at uni. Okay. Um, so I need to kind of brush up on that. Maybe do a little bit of that. Uh, I'd really like to branch out that way. And uh, yeah, I don't really know. Like I started this more for the kind of social aspect and just kind of having like a hobby almost. And now that it's grown, I'm kind of I have all these ideas about what to do with it. And I think I just need to try and kind of stick to maybe one or two and, and see how it goes from there but I, I, all I can say is like I, I love it I love being involved in all the communities I love all the people like it's just so nice to feel like you're part of something and yeah as a I'm like I'm like a quite a weird like so I'm, I'm a girly I'm a girly gamer so like I, I like to paint my nails and I like fake tan and like <laughs> wearing heels and like went out. But I also like sitting and being like a slob in my joggies and like eating hundreds of Doritos and playing video games till like three in the morning so yeah. I, I, like it's hard when you're a girl like that like I'm sure there's a lot of girls out there who'll understand like it's hard to find your people <laughs> like yeah. I have a lot of friends who are either one or the other like I don't really have a lot of friends who ever want to do both so growing a, a community and being part of teams and things like that the way that I am now it almost feels as though you've kind of found your tribe a little bit yeah I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> uh, as cheesy as that sounds yeah. but like it kind of to me like it's kind of like the little internet family that I always wanted to have so uh, I just I, I appreciate that about it, and if I can keep it growing, obviously that would be the dream. But for me, like I'm so happy with how things are just now, and if I can even just keep it to how it is, and if it gets any bigger, like I, I think I would still be happy. But obviously, growing, growing, yeah, growing your content as as anyone who does content creation is is the dream, right? So eventually, it would be amazing. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. Um. So you, you are part of Psycho Gaming Psycho yeah. Stream Team. You know, how did it come around? How how do you find out about Psycho? Um, so I I used to kind of lurk a lot in um in Callan's streams. Uh and I kind of knew about like the app app oh I can't even speak this, me they can't speak now. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of knew about the apparel uh, and things and then when I've seen the the um the tweet go out about them looking for team members, I was kind of looking to see what I could do to expand myself and get involved in more things and I just really liked uh, for me, the whole positive health, mental health aspect of it, it really, really appealed to me. Like it really was something that I wanted to be a part of just from seeing that. Like I didn't even really need anything else. I just being a part of a community that promotes positivity and, and you know, not getting raging at games. Because for me, like I don't like to get raging at games. I, I like to, <laughs> I, I always say like, if you're not having fun with something, what's the point in it, right? So if, if you're sitting there and you're like five games into something and you're sitting going, oh, like what is the point in that like just move on do something else like do something you enjoy and see if you are losing like at the end of the day it's just a game like just laugh it off like be a little bit frustrated but I, I just I really appreciate that it's a community of people like that um so yeah I, I felt that it would be a really good fit so I went for it and uh when I when I got it I was I didn't think I would get it like at the time I was kind of pretty small and I was like oh, I don't know I don't know but I was I was really really chuffed really chuffed about it so yeah it worked out nice okay to be honest what advice would you give someone that's just starting streaming honestly the, the biggest advice is just be yourself i think the first couple of streams that i did like i'm i'm very glaswegian <laughs> like i'm very glaswegian i talk in a lot of slang um probably swear a little bit more on stream than i should and things and I think that like the first few streams I done, I tried to put on like a posher voice almost. <laughs> I, like I was trying to speak a little bit more politely, and I, I would mention all of my teas, and I would, you know, I would, I would be a lot more conscious of how I was speaking and how I was talking. And now I just go on, and whatever comes out of my mouth comes out of my mouth. And if people don't like it, you know, there's there's plenty of other people out there. Yeah. Like you, you can go, you can go and enjoy their content. But I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna do me. Content. So I think just being you and just not trying to fit into a persona and just kind of being, you know yeah. I, I think yeah being yourself not being worried about what other people think because 
there's so many people on the internet like the people who like you're gonna find you if that makes sense yeah. like you just yourself and you keep being you you'll find your people and you'll find you'll find the ones that want to stick about for you and not just for this like box that you've put yourself in so that's probably the biggest thing okay yeah. So come towards the end of the interview now. Is there anything you want to ask me? Um. Yeah. I mean, what did you do before? Uh, before Psycho? Like, what? What's like? So I know that you you've been. I think you've been a member beforehand, didn't? Weren't you? You were in the yeah. team before. So, yeah. so I've been part of this community for a long, long time now. So mm-hmm. I was part of the uh, okay the original team, part of the people who actually made the community as well and named the community. Yeah beforehand um and before like whole nuclear viking stuff i was just a gamer i wasn't a streamer i wasn't the only thing i was a gamer playing fifa like pro clubs yeah and then you know, like i said a few weeks ago that i uh, got you know a dm one night saying dave will be part of the special like, okay yeah whatever i didn't believe it at the time <laughs> and you know from nuclear vikings to psycho here i am still so Ooh. you know <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm like probably one of the old guard you know on the old oh geez, these days um Good though. but yeah um yeah like i never thought i'd be sitting here doing a talk show you know doing um this interviewing people because you know i'm not really a talker i'm not really good at talker i you know stutter i talk fast quite a lot as well so but here we are <laughs> here we it's are <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it's been a part of the community special but like it's really got a cool community where yeah, i have friends and you know I could chat to people and you know me mm-hmm. people I don't name people but people are so cool. Um but people it's different class, a different class of community and special. Yeah. Um but yeah, yeah. I, I, but yeah, basically before anything happened, I was just a gamer. I didn't know anything about streaming. I've learned a lot over the past few years, a lot in the last few months as well. Um, about mm-hmm. streaming. Three be three years in March that I've been streaming. It's been a long, long, long time. You know, I've been a mixer. I was a partner, partnered on uh, D Live, as I've experienced in half, um, and I've been now on Twitch so for the past year. So, um, yeah, it's interesting to see you know, the journey you've been on myself, you know, and see where how far I've come in my journey. I, mm-hmm. I, I started, you know, sitting. I started my journey sitting on the couch with, a, with my, my PC on a glass circle table. <laughs> I look, I look back. I think, what was I doing? What was I doing, Dave? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I see. I'm now sitting here with three monitors, you know, and a desk and a chair. I'm like, <laughs> you can't see the light behind me right now, but there's light behind, lights behind me as well. Like, you know, it's incredible. It's weird. It's, it takes time. Like, to anybody that comes into streaming, you know, like, yeah, that's what I was going to, people are coming to, come to chat and go, Dave, it's been a quiet day, you know, it's been a crap stream. You know, I'm like, stop being so negative, you know, because it's early days. Yeah. Enjoy your experience. Any day you're gaming. And the fact that someone comes in to watch your game is incredible. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So I think my biggest advice to people like, who are getting a bit frustrated or new to streaming, I have quiet days, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm lucky where I have moderators that come in and go, Dave, how are you getting on? And we'll chat with a bit of banter. I rage sometimes as well. So, yeah, people love it. Um, but, yeah. Well, for me, the bit earlier to being yourself, but being yourself is a big part of streaming. I know people say, oh, you can't be yourself streaming, blah, 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 blah. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Yeah, for like, sure. Like, for me, what you see here right now is Dave, and that's how how I want to be seen. I don't want to be seen as Rambo DRS or something like that. It's now these days. I want to be seen as Dave. That's me. Um, but yeah, that's 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 basically where I where I am and where I am now. So um, I'm repping the psycho merch today as well. <laughs> so- yeah. <laughs> I think I've got like something really stupid on under here. So I've just got, like, I'm a fan of the cable nets just now. Who's not? Walking the granny, granny style. <laughs> yeah. Right, guys, if you like this video today, please make sure that you follow Pooge on Twitch. It is It's Pooge on Twitch. And if you like this video, make sure you sub, you like it, share with friends, and all that stuff as well. Hey, you guys, thank you to Pooge for coming in today. Thanks for having me. No worries. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you very much.